back to another Let's Play Naval Action. I finally got the uh, recording right. I don't know what was going on with those first two videos. Uh, my capture device uh, said that it was, you know, capturing it correctly, but then when I uploaded them, and I didn't look at them before I uploaded them, which I should have, um, it wasn't uploading right. But I'm going to leave them up there, even though I know you're probably supposed to take those down and restart, but, uh, but we'll see. I might, I might take them down, I don't know, so this may be your very first video, we'll see. But here we are, we're running a mission, and uh, getting much, much, much better at this game. It just takes practice, really. I've got the six pounders on this basic cutter, and we're ready to rock and roll on this guy. He is in a, another cutter, or it looks like, might not be a cutter, it might be a, uh, something different looks like it's something a little different either way we're gonna head right towards him get our guns ready and when you start off in your battles you can press the R button I have found that the unlocked sector focus fire works really well and I explain it when we're about to shoot here in just a minute it makes it to wherever you put that little red cursor line looking thing is the focus of your cannons and they'll aim in to a central point when you use locked or, or these other ones, it doesn't seem to work as well for me. Now that I've got that where that works, I'm uh, very happy with it. Make sure you select your gunnery. Get everybody rocking and rolling on uh, gunnery so you'll load faster. I have powder monkeys that I looted off a ship on this as well, so life gets good. Well, he's fired off two shots at us, and I think he's hit us once. But we're about to return to favor now. As we'll turn, get in nice and close to him. And get ready to blast him. Like I said, see how that, see how the move up and down, it's really getting closer there. That's that sector fire, and now we're just going to unload on him. And we did a lot of damage right off the bat. And he's not going to like that. Alright, he wants to turn the other way. We'll turn the other way real fast. He wants to put the other guns to use here. And he's going to hit us and do some damage, but unless we unless you really are sloppy um, you're really gonna put a pounding on him using these six pounders if you've upgraded to six pounders I would say that's one of the first things you should do is upgrade your six pounders on your basic cutter it makes a huge huge difference and I believe we're stalled in the wind yep let's see if we can get turned here cut back behind him The six pounders on this uh, basic cutter make a huge difference. It allows you to hit so much harder uh, than if you had the little fours. So don't use the fours. Swap to the six as soon as possible. Man, this is going to be bad for him. Yeah, he's not liking that. And the wind is not very good. So if he gets stuck into a turning battle with us, She's not willing to do. Some of these other ones, man, they just want to get into a turning battle with you. Which you just outgun them. He's obviously not willing to do that. He's trying to swap back and forth and continue to bring as many uh, cannons as he can to bear on us. Now, if he'll stick in this situation here, we'll, we'll outgun him. He won't have a chance. Oop, I think I missed there. I got a little, got a little greedy. He's got to watch your swell. In case you don't know, if you want to fire one at a time like I'm doing here, you do a uh, space bar. It'll fire one at a time. And I'll level us back out so we're sitting sideways with him. We'll sit here and trade for odd sides with him if that's what he wants to do. Um, although he's being a lot more accurate than the last guy I faced, so we'll see what happens here. And now he's wanting to turn again. Let me slow down a little bit here and... sailed back to full. This guy's doing a lot better than the last guy I faced. Wow, he's he's actually being a little competitive here. He's uh, turning, being accurate. We'll see how this goes. So far, I, we're about even. He's punched a big old hole in the back of my boat there. I think now we've settled into a turning battle. Might be his left side, which is the best side. A little range here on him. He won't like that too much. Much harder to hit that range. As you can see. Very hard to hit out here. I use 
single shots from this distance. Unless, of course, I really zero in like now. And that'll hit it. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. If that'll, if I can zero in, I'll do that. He keeps just turning. We'll keep turning too. We're sitting dead in the wind. You can see how slow we're getting there. Yep, that's going to get him turned back around the other way. Okay. And now we're picking back up speed again. And fire some more rounds into him here. Yep, he's not going to... He won't be able to handle this for long. We'll continue to pound him. That doesn't look like... That looks like... A, that's a two master. I mean, that's... Might be a privateer or something. I'm not sure exactly what ship that is. So now that we're in this turning, what I call a turning battle, where we just kind of circle each other, my guns should outdo his guns. Slowly, but surely. Although he is being very accurate. And if you find yourself uh, lurching too much, or it's going up and down too much with the roll of the waves, you can hit T to take the power out of your sails for a second, and uh, it'll help you to settle your shots so and get a better shot off. Oop, missed. Sometimes I use it, but for the most part, I just kind of wait for the waves to settle a little bit and then do it. Alright, come on guys, load up. His left side's pretty damaged now. That's a good shot there. Can't see him now. Oh, he's turning, trying to get... Trying not to let that side get shot anymore, so keep turning on him here. Yeah, he's doing some damage to us, not a major amount. Keep getting turned here. He turned right into us. He's actually doing a lot better than a lot of the AI has been lately. I wonder if they... Uh, I didn't see a patch or anything go through, so... Alright, get back lined up on that left side. Get turned here and... Continue to put rounds down on him. Get off these waves. I use long guns. Uh, there's a reason why I use long guns. See, right now you don't want to shoot at him. See how low he is in the water? You can't see him. I use long guns because they have less arc. They shoot straighter. So I have less to worry about when I'm shooting. I'm just missing completely right now. There we go. Hit him there. Um, the long guns just have a straighter trajectory, which is what I like. It just seems to make life easier for me when I'm having to do the arc. It doesn't seem to go as well for me. See how you try to turn again? So what I did is I just let off my turn for a second. Started straight, and he immediately went back to turn it again. We keep hitting him. He'll eventually sink. He did some serious damage to us, though. I got myself a Trader Lynx as well. I'm trying to uh, dabble into the trading a little bit. Haven't really uh, found a whole lot of success in it yet. Done okay like to do a lot better and uh, I think we'll get there I found one route where I made uh, I made about 13 or 14 thousand on that one route which wasn't bad it wasn't great it took me a long time to do it I could have made more doing three or four missions in a row but it's one of those things where I don't want to just do you know one aspect of the game I want to learn and mess around with all aspects of it I've been crafting a little have to do a video on crafting. There's a great site you can go to with a lot of the recipes. It makes life easier. But it's just one of those things, you know, learning uh oh there's a good shot. Boom. You learn in uh you learn in a game, you have fun with it, you know, and enjoy as much as you can. Don't just get caught up in one aspect of it. Is he gonna turn out? There we go. I'll take that shot, don't bother me. This trade. Come on, ship. Dip back down here. Doing everything he can to try and get an advantage. It's just not working for him. Oop, missed that one. 
turn, I'm getting a little too close to him. Can't uh, center my guns on it. Come on, guns, load up. And because of the way I've been firing with the space bar, I got, got singles going here. Uh, that's fine with me. <laughs> this is just close in battle here, boy. Yeah, I figured he'd start turning in a minute. He just can't hang next to me like that with these six pounders on there. As I say, upgrade your ship, you know, get your six pounders right off the bat. It just makes a huge difference. All right, he's turning. Ah, I missed him. That was a bad shot. Let's see if he pops up out of that wave there. Missed him again. Shot over him. Missed him again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, it takes practice. You gotta you gotta practice your skills here and close the gap with him a little bit. I've also got where I can pilot the ship pretty darn well just from gun view. You can see I haven't left gun view the whole fight here. In the beginning, I had to leave gun view every time I turned around, and I haven't had to do that lately, which has been good able to pilot, been able to look at what they're doing, and uh, be able to make adjustments based on what they're doing from right here, which is cool. I like being able to just sit here in gun view and see it. It's a little more realistic than being up uh, high above, you know, because you have to pilot your boat from right here and make adjustments from here, which I like. Just adds a little bit of realism to me, for me, whatever you want to say there. And I've stayed with my left side pointing at him the whole time. Still hasn't been able to do anything to me, really. He's definitely got a leak, you can tell. He's slower. And uh, not only is he slower, but he's having, uh, he's sitting much, much lower in the water. No trouble hitting him there. You got hit him that time. Oh, missed that time. The, right as I went to hit the button, the, it went up. Missing him. Hitting the sails, but I'm missing him. Let me try and turn and close the distance a little bit here. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. With my uh, I use open broadcast. If you guys got any suggestions of me out with that? For some reason, I just the last few things I've been recording has had a real hard time capturing. I've reset, done all the settings I could think of in there, but it's just not not capturing the way I want it to. It's uh, putting brackets around here, framing the outside, which is not what I want. All right, pop up out of that water, buddy. Well, I'm gonna wait till he turns. I don't want to shoot him in the back. Back, he's full armor. Looks like I missed a little bit there, huh? <laughs> when it fired my full broadside, missed a little bit too much. Let's see, I'm on his right side. He's still got a little bit of armor on that right side there, so. Come on. Come on, load, 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 load. Load, 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 load. Load, load, load. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Too slow. Too slow. Yep. Now an expert will probably look at what I'm doing and say, well, I'm, I'm not taking advantage of him and not spinning and doing both sides. And yeah, that's true. But you really don't need to that much on, on these lower end battles, you know, like this. Come on. And I'm taking more damage than I probably have to. But on this basic cutter, the damage uh, repair kits are free, so I'm not as concerned about it. Come on, turn. I need to get back into him. I could turn across right now and get my right side on him, which I may do. So I'm going to back out real fast. I'm going to turn across, see if I can turn and get my right side on him. 
give him a different side to shoot at. Change the battle here a little bit. Yep, there we go. And we'll be able to close the distance too. Get in here and finish this fight off. Yeah, that that did some that did a number on him. That's his left side, so that'll pretty well cause him to leak. Lower my sails down a little bit. And like I said, you see this thing converges right where it's at because it's on that unlocked sector. So pick that, get that, get used to shooting that way, and you'll it'll help you get a lot better. It helped me a ton. All right, need to slow down a little bit. He's carrying so much water, he's having trouble keeping speed. And we'll get ready to broadside him again. He's just about done there. Not much left to him. He's getting under the water quite a bit. Wait till he pops up out of there if he's gonna. There he goes. Yeah, man. And now I'm just gonna swap to the other side here. That probably just about finished him off there. We'll see. He's still attempting. Gotta give him credit. Oh yeah, pop right out of that water. Oh, he's done. Alright. And you can see here it just says battle over, so you hit continue. When it says battle over like that, it's over. You can go ahead and go. You don't have to wait for them to sink, you don't have to wait for anything. It's over. Um, so you can leave now. You can't do anything with the ship back there anyway, so you just leave the battle and away we go. And I completed a mission. I got 5,000 plus 50, plus I think you also get this too. It seems like to me you do. And no loot or anything, so. Good, good. Not bad, not bad. So I'm now, I gained a rank by the way. So I am now a junior lieutenant and almost halfway to becoming whatever's next. Maybe second lieutenant, I'm not sure. And one more repair. Okay, so I got 46,000 now. Um, I'm not sure, I'm really torn on what I'm going to buy. I'm debating buying a snow. I like the armor and everything that comes with it and what it looks like and so forth and so on. But at the same time, I'm, I, I kind of want a navy brig as well. So I don't know. I'm really torn on what I want to do. The armor and the durability of the snow would play into my style. I like to get up close. And I like to just pound people. I don't like to. I don't mind the carronades, but I prefer the long cannons and just you know get in like we just did there and just circle around and blast them. Just outgun them. You know, know that I'm going to take damage, but outgun them. The snow would definitely help me with that. Um, from what I've read, what I've seen, the snow is built for that basically so that could be what we what I want up doing I'm not 100% sure I could get a brig or even a navy brig and it, it's an upgrade and you can find those fairly cheap so I'm still undecided not sure what I want to do so if you got any suggestions just leave a uh, comment down below say hey, you know you should get this and here's why and I'll definitely take a look at it but just not sure what I want to do as far as the next ship because once you pick a ship, you know, you're going to be in it for a little bit. So, uh, I want to pick wisely and, and get the right thing for me. And, and like I said, I got to pick what's going to work for my play style, which is up close and, and then just blast them. So, I know carronades are good for that, but I don't use carronades. Go figure. Because I don't get that close. I stay medium range, you know. You always got to check these things, these boats, because they could be those... Uh, Trader lynxes with contraband on them, and then you can run them down, get them, capture the ship, and sell the cargo inside. Which I've still yet to do. Both times I've tried to do that, I've accidentally capsized the trader ship trying to board it. So I'm still working on trying to do that. I have not been very good at that. But I do have a trader's lynx. It holds, uh, uh, it can hold 800 in the hold, and I've used that a couple times now to to run around and, tr like I said, try. I could get, you know, maybe a different 7th uh, rate, but I'm not interested in that either. Uh, the Trader Cutter, by the way, has 1,600. So I didn't realize that until after I got the links. But uh, I'm going to try and capture me 
a trader uh, uh, cutter so I can have the 1600 uh, 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 cargo hold and I'm looking forward to doing that and I'll get to that so there I have a mercury which is built with uh, built for speed basically and it can hold 150 in its hold um, it's got 10 cannons per side I've thought about that thing I'm like, eh, but I don't know the brig I don't think I'm gonna buy a brig I think I would buy a navy brig if I was gonna buy one nine cannons per side and it would just I don't know we'll see but right now there are no ships available so really can't don't have any choice on what to buy and I need to check my prices here and you always want to look and see you know who's buying what at what price and you don't want to look at the buy price see like right here for a cup of wood so oh well it's 528 what you want to look at is this is what you would sell it at so if you go to another port if your buy price is lower than the sell price then away you go and uh, this is where you're gonna have to keep track of stuff you have to write things down I have two sheets of paper that I keep in front of my computer and when I'm in a port I'll look at it and say okay well coal they're buying for only 11 here but they're selling it for 29 so I'll write down both prices and then I'll go off to another port and take a look at it because here you see they're producing live oak copper rum American cotton that's why the price is low here right but they consume, and so you look, you say hemp, pine log, iron ore, oak log, Swedish iron, Indian tea. So you, you find somebody that's making this stuff, and that's what you want to bring here. They consume 8,376 iron ore a day. Um, that's quite a bit. And so you look for iron ore, which it isn't on here. And then you find it here, and here there's you can sell it to them for only 10 a day. So somebody's been trading a whole lot of it over here. So there you go and that's how you do it and you see shop quantity is quite a bit somebody's just been buying and moving that stuff quite a bit and that's how you do it that's your traders link and then your basic cutter so alright so I'm gonna stop this episode here it's another quick mission and uh, I'm gonna keep trying to raise up some money and uh, when I figure out some trading a little bit better I might show you some tips on that and then on crafting I'm uh, level 3 now I think I'm level 3 yeah and you get hours right available once those hours are available gone you can't do anything and then they here's how you would trade say a cutter a lynx a trader cutter fur would make it faster oak would make it stronger I'm not sure what teak does and live oak makes it the strongest I'm not real sure what teak would do but like I already have some fur stuff made up blocks made up and I have 40 to 60 frame parts and so what you do is you have to make each individual thing. So like rudder parts, you can click on the rudder parts and it'll say, hey, in order, so you go back to the thing, you need nine rudder parts. You say, okay, there's three. So in order to make nine, I need to make, I need to have oak logs. I need to make or get iron ignits. How do you make iron ignits? Iron ore and coal. And, and that's what you do. Um, you could actually make some of these other things and say frame parts. You could make this stuff. So that uh, live oak frame parts, you want live oak logs. If you make those, you could then sell those in a contract. So let's go back to shop and some of the stuff that I have, uh, materials. So I have some blocks that I've made. I have some rigging parts, right? I only have one left of the rigging part. But say I sell for like 25, right? If, if they confirm this, this can only be sold in a contract. So I had a bunch of extra, um, what was it I had? A whole bunch of extra I don't remember what I had that I had a bunch of extra but I think it was cables and housers I don't remember but I put them on the contract and I sold them and see wood fittings I have four iron fittings I have three and so you sell those things as extra you can build a large carriage and if you build a large carriage you can put them on contract for that amount and so it works out pretty good here's iron fittings so you say okay well how do you make iron fittings well you go back to craft look for castings and I believe it's in here iron fittings and you say okay I need iron ignits and so if I make 24 iron fittings let's just say 36 44 48 iron fittings right I need 72 iron ignits in order to make that now it said I can sell those go back to the shop remember iron fittings you need 72 iron ignits so it says iron fittings I can sell for 258 a piece but you need 70 something iron ignits. Now remember, you have to sell, you can sell the iron fittings here. You could see if you bought the 70 something to make 48, you'd lose money. 
But if you can find iron ingots somewhere else at a lot lower price, you could bring those back here, craft, and then sell them. You see what I mean? So it's a matter of finding uh, what it is you want to make, how you're going to make it. I don't have any, um, like in crafting, I don't have any cannon yet. I want to make cannons. Um, I can make extra hammocks, right, for my uh, extra hammocks, which would give you, I forget what it is, on your on your ship. But you'd have extra hammocks that you could make, right? So you make the extra hammocks, and then you've got a better uh, thing for your boat. Copper plating. You need copper ignits, iron fittings, wood fittings, and this this is a permanent uh, uh, upgrade for your ship. Gives you max speed of one percent. Extra hammock gives you module base hit point of one percent. Extra planking. Okay, gives you armor all sides three percent. Max speed lower. Structure uh leaks per second negative five cents so less leaks so but you can see that's 250 planks iron fittings all these other things and if you make that and you can up the, the quality by the way if you up the quality you see your crap level goes up and you can see 10 percent hit point increase so this comes into play definitely later on extra planking grog rations you need rum danish beer and barrels and it says your attack bonuses for boarding grenades large carriage boat a blueprint makes two large carriages you saw the large carriages sold for a lot of money uh, optimized rudder so that's a permanent your turning speed what 1.5 percent that's pretty cool I have one of these sites <clears throat> which means that it helps you to shoot um, less of the uh, spread out when you shoot your 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 grouping is better it's tighter uh, when you shoot so reinforce mast you can increase your mass uh, speed trim, increase your spin, speed, turning trim, so forth, so on. So you see, you can make those things as well. Uh, you could make uh, canvas rolls using hemp. And you make canvas rolls. People need those in order to build ships. Because if you went back to ships, all right, you go here, you're going to need four canvas rolls. So you could make those and sell those to the players. But, you know, it's one of those things. Because if you go to shop, you don't have to just shop resources. You could also shop in here. You could buy the parts to build your ship. Um, you need iron fittings. So you buy them at 10. You need um, uh, canvas rolls. You could buy them at 135 rather than making them. So if I want to do the trader's BP, I need to buy rudder parts. I need to buy planks, tar, frame parts, ignits, uh, rigging parts. Uh, all these things you have to buy. You can buy those things individually and just craft your ship if you want it. So. Anyways, that's all the stuff, and by the way, you can increase that as well. So you can see permanent upgrades, two or three, at craft level seven, making this the highest quality trader cutter PP, and upgrade slots, four to five, which you can really upgrade your ship quite a bit. All right, so that's, and there you need extra crafting notes. When you do that, you don't need those when you're in the basic thing. So anyways, that's how you do it. That's what you got. That's how you play. You figure out which one you like to do and do it, you know, or do some of all like I'm trying to do. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Stay out of trouble, and don't forget to hit like, subscribe. Thank you for your patience on me trying to get my uh, my capture software working better. If you know of a better uh, capture software I can use, let me know. But anyways, talk to you later. Have a good day.